Well, you know, uh, not only at the UN uh, level, but I think worldwide, we are all facing a number of challenges and a number of development issues uh, that we could not foresee actually uh, 20 years ago or 10 years ago. Uh, with, the, with the rising climate change issues, uh, with the post-disaster, natural disaster issues, with the need to have a better recovery, with the need for a, a new social contract and social protection, uh, social justice, uh, we really need uh, uh, to, to have a renewed, uh, actually, commitment. That's really the heart of, uh, of uh, this uh, statement. And a renewed commitment is also to create, again, this wonderful international solidarity, actually, momentum that happened in 2002 when all the countries committed to the achievements and, and, uh, of the NDGs. Well, as, uh, as I always say, uh, change, uh, development and transformation comes from within. So our role as United Nations system is really a role of facilitator and a broker. A facilitator because this is the way and, and you know, uh, we support the government, whether at the national level or the local level, uh, uh, to uh, come up with a policy uh, according to their priorities that actually is really going to address in concrete terms developing goals. And as a broker, uh, to make sure actually that we bring uh, to the table different partners, uh, different stakeholders from different uh, sectors. So this is really where uh, we have a very important role to play. Uh, because of the nature of our institution, uh, meaning independent and neutral, even if a lot of people are questioning that, I, I still believe that this is what we are and we should definitely keep being so. It is also a unique positioning actually to also uh, you know, facilitate and, and, and broker uh, regarding a number of uh, development issues. We have also uh, a, a, another role when it comes to bringing to a country different experiences and benchmark from other countries. And uh, uh, nowadays, more and more South-South cooperation mechanism is really, really, really key in addressing in, in, and providing some shortcuts, actually, to accelerate development and to speed up the development process. And uh, an institution such as UN, uh, whatever agency we are referring to, has a critical role and a unique positioning, again, and a value added to facilitate that and to make this happen from a country to another and actually play this role of bridging between those countries, but not only in terms of South-South cooperation, but also in terms of triangular cooperation, where it is also establishing a bridge between the North and the South and from the South to the South, knowing that in every north country, northern country there is uh, unfortunately a southern pocket of poverty and in every southern country there is a northern pocket of development and, and wonderful human capital as well. Well, it's First of all, the private sector uh, is, is an actor of development, but not only that, uh, it's, uh, it's also uh, a, a sector that has and must contribute actually to the achievement of the development standards uh, the international community agreed on. They have the responsibility to make sure that human rights are respected, they have the responsibility to make sure that the business practices actually are respecting also a number of principles when it comes to sustainable development. And they have the responsibility, of course, uh, to make sure that again the business practices are done according to a number of transparency, accountability and respecting also uh, the country's priorities. Uh, and people rights, uh, you know, uh, whether it is about labor, whether it is about fair trade, whether uh, it is about equitable trade, whether it is about preservation of the natural resources, etc., you name it. So it is, it has a role. I mean, it's not that the post-2015 is all of a sudden discovering and noticing that the private sector has a new role. 
What is, what is new in the process is that there is a clear request from all the countries to ask actually the private sector to deliver on this commitment and to deliver on this active role in terms of contributing to development and going beyond the corporate social responsibility kind of programs which so far were more of charity kind of programs. I mean, they can do more, they should do more, they must do more. Uh, so that's really the whole challenge uh, in the post-2015 process. How we can bring to the table actually the private sector as a very important contributor to development and as a, a sector that actually will feed into sustainable development instead of contributing actually to the threat against our uh, development and sustainability. Mm -hmm.